Okay, using the previous um, example in the previous video, uh, if if we have found uh, the trig function sine, sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, so 4 fifths, what if we want to know what the measure of that angle is, which I think, what about finding theta? Right, so those are the questions. How would you know that? Well, remember in solving, problems, you always do the inverse operation. So if you have 3x is equal to 12, the inverse of multiplying 3 is dividing 3. Or if you didn't do it that way, you could multiply by the reciprocal. Remember, division is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. But whatever the quality properties, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. The, x is cance or the coefficient cancels. x is equal to 4. So the same thing is going to be done here. You haven't been introduced to this yet, but if we want to get that theta by itself, how do you get rid of the word sine? You can't just divide sine both sides because then what would you do over here? Well, you write the symbol for inverse to a function. This symbol right here, this notation I should say right here, means I'm taking the inverse of sine so now the word sine cancels leaving theta. But we took the inverse sine of this side, so we're going to have to take the inverse of sine here. I'll write it down here. The inverse of sine on that side. Let me grab calculator out. All right, so now, well, what do you do with that inverse sine? Well, if you have if you have a scientific calculator, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to hit for the, we use the T130s in our classroom. So you hit the second button and then hit the, select the sign and then select four divide five, close parentheses, enter. And what you get, and it's going to be rounded, that's about a 53, I'll round to the nearest tenth. 53.1 degree angle. So that is how. So every time you have to find the theta, you're going to be using every time. Every time you're looking for a theta, you're going to be using that very specific inverse notation. So let's see what, come back here. I think over here I just showed you yeah, I just took the inverse sine to both sides. When I did it on the left, the sines cancel, leaving theta. And I do that to the right, and then you just type it into the calculator. And in the calculator, you're going to type second sine. It gives you a left parentheses. Then you type 4 divide 5, right parentheses, uh, left off the word enter. And then, ta-da! The angle is about 53.1 degrees. All right, that's it for finding the theta.